Hey everybody, it's Jason with Parallel Reality coming back with you here today with an article from The Federalist dated oh, September 12th and it says, yes, foreign nationals have voted in U.S. elections and many more could this year. Looks like this one's going to be kind of a long one, so strap yourselves in. And I wanted to do this article because you keep hearing a lot of left-wing pundits out there saying, well, it's illegal for um, illegals to vote in elections. So it just must not happen. And it's like, well, we actually have proof that they have. So like, why are you saying that? <laughs> so let's just go into it. It says, with massive leftist voter registration efforts in play, election integrity advocates warn of many more non-citizens on voter rolls. So it says, the leftist in election integrity deniers at the Brennan Center for Justice that's an seems like a semi-ironic name will tell you that non-citizens are not voting in federal or state elections they are wrong so are the like-minded leftists at time magazine who in 2017 arrogantly and falsely claimed donald trump is wrong non-citizens don't vote and again we know they do so some do they're not allowed to vote in federal elections it's a felony but they have in red states blue states and purple states with the flood of illegal immigrants that has poured into the United States on the Biden-Harris administration's watch, there are more foreign nationals showing up on the nation's voter rolls. That means there will be more opportunities for non-citizens to slip through the Maginot. Is that how you pronounce that? It's not probably not Maginot. So it's Maginot, a line of U.S. election integrity. I've seen the word. I just don't remember how to pronounce it. Let me know in the comments below. So it's happening enough that the left's messaging has been, let's just say, nuanced of late. As we have seen the change of rhetoric from the left. From there are no cases to it's so rare, Wisconsin State Dan Nodal, State Senator Dan Nodal, who has raised red flags about potentially thousands of non-citizens on the Badger State's voter rolls, recently told me. The prosecutions have proven that it's certainly not non-existent. As is Nodal and others note, however, the real rarity is law enforcement investigation and prosecution of voter fraud allegations, particularly incidents of foreign nationals casting ballots. So a true gauge of the problem is anything but definitive, despite what the usual suspects at the Associated Press and other members of the accomplice media feverishly insist. And the Associated Press is probably one of the worst places to go to. They used to be reliable. They're not anymore. they just become another leftist uh, shill thing. You know, so that's it. It's no myth, says the next section. It says, last week, Angelica Maria Francisco of Russellville, Alabama, was charged in U.S. District Court on false claims of citizenship in connection with voting, among a host of other fraud charges, according to the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Northern District of Alabama. She has filed a plea agreement indicating that she will plead guilty to all the charges, U.S. Attorney Prim F. Escalona noted in a press release. <clears throat> says Francisco, according to the charges, assumed the identity of a U.S. citizen in 2011, using the false identity to obtain a U.S. password. So she did a lot of bad things before deciding to go ahead and vote. I don't know why you'd like go through all that stuff and go like, well, I'm going to go vote in their elections. Like if I did that in another country, like if I did that, like I went to France or I assumed someone else's identity, I wouldn't be like, well, I'm going to go vote. <laughs> like I don't know why that would cross somebody's mind, but okay. So she subsequently used the United States passport to travel to and from her native country of Guatemala in 2012, 2015, and 2018, the press release states. Using the same false identity, Francisco also registered to vote in Alabama in 2016 and voted in the 2016 and 2020 primary and general elections. As in noticing the charge and noting, I should say, the charges, the Alabama political reporter dutifully declared that research shows non-citizen voting is rare and overstated. I don't think it is. As research likes to ignore the 19 foreign nationals charged in 2020 in the U.S. District Court for the Middle District of North Carolina. They were indicted on charges of voting in the 2016 federal elections, the result of a years-long federal criminal investigation being conducted by U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE, Homeland Security Investigations, or HSI, Rally's Office. Rally Office, there's no S there. This is ICE announced in a September 2020 press release. This is in a related North Carolina case from 2018. 19 other foreign nationals were charged with voting in the 2016 election. A 20th defendant was charged with aiding and abetting a fellow defendant in falsely claiming the United States citizenship in order to register to vote, according to a 2018 press release for the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Eastern District of North Carolina. This is per usual. Corporate media outfits attempt outlets, not outfits, attempted to write off the charges and convictions as a misunderstanding, of course. So the Donald Trump hating Washington Post went so far as to blame the president and other Republicans, charging that they were using the case and others to portray illegal voting as a widespread phenomenon that threatens the integrity of American elections. Well, even if it's not widespread, it does threaten the integrity of American elections. Like, Washington Post, are you guys retarded? I mean, I know it's a rhetorical question, but are you retarded? Like, Jesus Christ. 
So the Washington Post examination of the effort in North Carolina found a complicated portrait of who is voting illegally and why, and exposed systemic problems that allowed non-citizens to register and cast ballots, in some cases without knowing they were breaking the law, the Post reported. Like, I'm sorry, this is one of those things where I go, ignorance of the law is not an excuse for, like, what you did, you know, for breaking the law. Okay, this is like, like I'm sorry, if I was to go and someone was to be like, no, 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 you can vote in this country that you're not a citizen of, I'd be like, are you, like, what? Are you sure? Like, that doesn't sound right, but they're just going, oh, yeah, well, they just they just didn't know they were doing that. Like, I'm sorry, that's one of those things that it's like, how do you know that's not, like, breaking the law? Okay, I don't care if you're, like, dumber than Forrest Gump. How do you not know that? So it said systemic problems have only gotten worse amid leftist groups working alongside federal agencies to register predominantly left-leaning voters. Yeah, that is a Biden-Harris thing. So, yes, they are doing that. They are trying to do it because they want power and they want to keep power. That is the answer to that question of why they're doing it. Okay, these are bad people. As Nodal noted, non-citizens voting in Wisconsin elections isn't unheard of. Most recently, uh, and I'm going to butcher this one, Ozaki County prosecutors, I don't know where that is in Wisconsin, charged a Ukrainian woman late last year with election fraud after she voted in a local school board election. The woman admitted to the crime but claimed she didn't understand the forms, according to the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Like, again, ignorance of the law is not an excuse for breaking it. Says in April, Miami-Dade State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle charged non-citizen Lazaro Valle Valle is probably VR with four voting related felonies. Records show VR illegally voted in the November second, twenty twenty election, despite the pros- election despite the prosecutor's offense announced. So Lazaro Valle VR could have become a citizen and voted legally if he had just made the effort. However, he did not. The prosecutor stated in a press release, "This is busy and disinterested for the next section." As corporate media have filled their publications and airwaves breathlessly defending the narrative that foreign nationals voting in state and uh, federal and state elections is somewhere between extremely rare and non-existent. They've stepped up the coverage as congressional Republicans have pushed for a passage of the Safeguarding American Voter Eligibility Act, or the SAVE Act, a bill that would require documented proof of citizenship to vote in federal elections, which why we even need to have a bill for this is beyond me, but I guess that's what we're at right now. That's where we're at. But the media outlets rarely know that law enforcement officials have shown relatively little interest in investigating and prosecuting allegations of non-citizens voting. And the author says, as my Federalist colleague Brecken F. Thies wrote this week, the federal government prosecuted just 35 criminal cases of aliens voting in the United States, elections between 2001 and 2021. With the Department of Justice having flagged at least hundreds of foreign nationals casting ballots and reportedly thousands upon thousands more on the voter rolls, the dearth of prosecutions isn't for lack of material. So I spent four years at the Justice Department as a career lawyer, and I can tell you that the career ranks of the Justice Department are filled with left-wing ideologues, and they just had no interest. They have no interest in going after aliens to prosecute them. Hans Van Spakovsky, manager of the Election Law Reform Initiative at the Heritage Foundation, told a Federalist in an interview, yeah, these are, as I said, these are bad people. The Senator Mike Rounds, Republican of South Dakota, and Bill Haggerty, Republican of Texas, joined Representative Andy Biggs, Republican of Arizona, in a letter this summer to U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland, who is not going to do a damn thing, demanding answers for the lack of prosecutions of non-citizens casting ballots. So plainly, there are opportunities for and instances of non-citizen voter registration, and so the critical question is whether the laws against doing so are being enforced by your department, the lawmakers wrote. Yeah, they're not. Says the, the, uh, there, the, what am I saying? There appear to have been few prosecutions by your department under these laws, and there is no indication that you have been pursuing cases in places like Georgia and Ohio where aliens have been caught registering or voting. So is Levi Fuller, Assistant Ge- Attorney General in the Texas AG's office and former prosecutor with the office's Election Integrity Division, candidly opined earlier this year that election fraud cases in general are anything but a priority in a lot of prosecutors' offices. This Fuller wrote in a column for, uh, sorry, look at the TV again. Sorry, Cubs game is on as I'm recording this, so I was just looking to see what I just saw, and it was a home run by not the Cubs, so boo. So let's go back here. So it says, election fraud cases in general, anything but a priority in a lot of prosecutors' offices. Fuller wrote a column for the Texas Public Policy Foundation that the problem had 
or has been compounded by an infamous Texas Court of Criminal Appeals decision in State v. Stevens issued in December 2021, which concluded that prosecution was a function solely contained within the judicial branch, i.e. not the Attorney General's office. So his district attor- or district attorney's offices are busy, and in my experience, a lot of them did not have the manpower, expertise, or the interest to pursue allegations of election fraud or go through the public scrutiny if they tried, the law enforcement official wrote. Next section is called Deeply Trouble. There's a recent lawsuit filed in Waukesha County Court alleges the Wisconsin Department of Transportation is failing to work with the Wisconsin Elections Commission to verify the citizenship of applicants registering to vote. That includes matching uh, the DOT or Department of Transportation citizenship information against voter registration information in the WISVOTE list, the state's voter registration database. The lawsuit alleges thousands of foreign nationals may be on the swing state's voter rolls. I wouldn't surprise me because it's a swing state. It says Nodal has demanded the DOT turn over the information to lawmakers and to elections officials. I doubt they're going to do that. So as Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton last month announced he was sending Lone Star State elections officials a list of 95,000 registered voters that should be vetted to confirm U.S. citizenship. As Paxton's Election Integrity Unit confirmed various left-wing nonprofits are operating voter booths outside state driver's license offices, raising suspicions about the potential of foreign nationals being registered to vote. As Texans are deeply troubled by the possibility that organizations purporting to assist with voter registration are illegally registering non-citizens to vote in our elections, Paxton said in a press release. If eligible citizens can legally register to vote when conducting their business uh, at a DPS office, why would they need a second opportunity to register with a booth outside? My office is investigating every credible report we receive regarding potential criminal activity that could compromise the integrity of our elections. And the author says, last month, my Federalist colleague Sean Fleetwood reported Governor Glenn Youngkin, a Republican of Virginia, announced that the Commonwealth's Department of Elections has removed more than 6,300 non-citizens from its voter rolls since his administration took office. That's a lot of people. Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose in recent months has asked local elections officials to remove hundreds of non-citizens from the Buckeye State's voter rolls, and election integrity watchdog groups warn that there are thousands more in the database, which is not surprising at all. Excuse me, not cutting that out. Nodal, the Wisconsin state senator, said he's 100% confident that some non-citizens will obtain a balance this presidential election season. And I agree with him. It's probably going to be 100% that that's going to happen. He says the history is there. He said, we've had prosecutions proving that it has happened, except in this counties that have ignored, except in the counties that have ignored the problem. Okay, yep. So there you go. Non-citizens do, in fact, vote. In our elections and there's a bunch of links anything that was hyperlinked in orange because it's the federalist they do things in orange will take you to some of the stuff and show you that this does in fact happen so let me know what you think about this in the comments below like share subscribe and i'll talk to you soon bye